everyone. Glad to have you here with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. We've got the 70s team facing the 90s team. And so off the tip, it's the 70s team. Now the starting group for the visitors. Frazier is out there with Havlicek. Then it's Kareem. Then there's Irving. And it's Lanier in at the power forward position. Stopped in from outside. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the 70s team the other way. Frazier against Stockton. Pass to Irving. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. Good job there. Jordan getting him in transition. And he does so much. And you almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. Now Abdul-Jabbar. Shoots a fader. Hakeem Olajuwon grabs the rebound. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Here's Frazier. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Now, here is Elijah Wong. Back to Jordan. On the pass to Pippen. There's the three. The 90s team keeping it alive with a new 14. Stockton's shot is off. Havlicek outside. Tipped away. Stolen by Stockton. Throws it up high. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with the 70s team head coach. He wants his guys to focus on jamming the perimeter shooters. He wants hard closeouts, no room to operate. He knows what this team can do if you give them any space on the outside to shoot. And they're going to be determined not to let that happen. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. Obviously, the three ball is a big concern for any defense. Great contest by the defender, but that's a dunk you've got to put down in his face. Inside. Here's Abdul Jabbar and stolen by Jordan. Here's the break. And it's slammed in by Malone. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now here's Frazier. Here's Havlicek. Knocks down the three ball. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The drive by Jordan. The three, Pippen. Havlicek with the rebound. A minute 50 left to play here in the first. Irving against Stuck. No good from Irving. Havlicek against Pippen. Stockton passes to Elijah Wan over Abdul Jabbar. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here's Havlicek. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. The drive by Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, reading the defense, knowing exactly what's needed at each moment. That's one of Jordan's unsung talents. Now here's Frazier. Passes it to Abdul-Jabbar. And here's Applecheck. Six to shoot. The three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Frazier's got five points so far. And remember, Applecheck was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. And slam dunk by Jordan. There is an imagination of creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Applejack outside. Pass to Irving.
to the right side. Frazier scanning the floor. Pass to Lanier. Good, and it's Frazier who picks up the assist. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Frazier against Stuck. Outside Jordan. Over Havlicek. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. So it's a tie game as we end the first. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen so far from the 90s team, guys, what do you think? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. We've got Gary Payton. Robinson is out there with Ewing. And it's Drexler. And it's Hill in at the small forward. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so in the game for the 70s team, we've got Barry. Maravich is out there with White, and it's unselled in at the five spot. Outside, White, just five to shoot. From the top of the key, great D that time from Peyton. Drexler passes to Peyton. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. <laughs> Peyton, a super vocal guy, constantly talking up a storm, always trying to get into the heads of the opposition. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. Here's White. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Stolen by Robinson. And here we go. Fast break. peyton has got it. And Hill throws it down. Yeah, one of the great in-game dunkers we have. Grant Hill, he might not put on a show with his dunks, but it doesn't make him any less impressive. Now, here is Maravich. And here's White. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. Hill finds Peyton. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Peyton's got the lead up to six now for the 90s team. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And he banks in the layup. Peyton's got six here in this quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Drexler against Maravich. Hayes the pass to White. And they get it. It's good. White's got his first bucket of the night. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Ewing. Robinson kicks to Drexler. Shades over Maravich. And it's Drexler that time in the assist by Robinson. Drexler's got his first bucket in this one. Outside, Maravich. From outside, off the mark. And Hill has it in the corner. And the dunk by Robinson. I love the show of force there from Robinson. When, when he's deep inside, it is clear for takeoff. White looking around. And as it out goes of out of bounds, the 70s team able to keep the ball here. Indies team on D. Ten point lead. This is their biggest. 
Some changes for the 70s team. Irving's checked in for Barry. Pavlicek comes in for Maravich. And it's Frazier in for White. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Here's Hill. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to go on Bill Walton. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. And the word you got to use is explosive out there when, when talking about Grant Hill. He's one of those guys who doesn't wait for the game to come to him. He, he goes out and just makes things happen. Now, here is Irving. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And here comes the break from the baseline. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And the 90s team leads by 15. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Applejack outside. Six on the shot clock. And just miss after miss right now. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. A lot to like about the way they're playing right now, but still plenty of time left. You do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. Here's the lob to the hoop, and it's Elijah on with the jam. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love, Greg, is the energy out, they're out. bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Timeout is called. First of the game for the 70s team. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? There's 45 seconds left in the first half. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. To the inside, and stolen by Malone. Here's Hill, and it's Hill with the jam. Yeah, that quick first step that Hill has is just part of what makes him so special when he's driving the basketball. It's also his mindset. Now, no one's going to get in his way once he's on the move. Now, here's Frazier. He's got seven. Oh, the lob to Irving. Pass break. Here we go. Goes up, and Hill throws it down. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy point. So as we conclude the first half so far... We've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And you know, Grant Hill has been really making it happen, guys. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. They've got O'Neal. Pippen is out there with Morning. Then there's Hardaway, and it's Jordan in at the shooting guard. And for the 70s team, Havlicek is out there with Frazier. Then there's Irving. Then it's Kareem, and it's Lanier in at the power forward. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan touched it last. And it's Frazier with the ball for the 70s team. Now the pass to Irving. Back to Frazier. 
High post try. The offensive rebound, Lanier. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Lanier's got the first basket of the third quarter for the 70s team. It's Jordan on the wing. Shoots over Havlicek. Rebounded by Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got four rebounds in this game. Havlicek kicks to Frazier. Back to Havlicek. Good. Great play set up by Frazier. Havlicek's got his second basket of the night. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. And Hardaway's nickname came from his grandmother. She was calling him pretty, but with that southern draw, it sounded like Kenny. Some changes for the 70s team. Barry's checked in for Irving. Maravich comes in for Havlicek. And it's wide in for Frazier. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Maravich, the pass to Lanier. They get a hand on it. Back to Maravich. Shot clock at five. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Well, that's a bad shot until it goes through the net. Outside Pippen. Down low. White with it. Outside Maravich. White against Hardaway. Out of bounds. It'll be the 90s ball. Oh, boy. Looks like he was injured there. And boy, this really doesn't look good. That Just the way it happened. Boy, it's got to be so frustrating for him. As hard as he has worked, doing everything he can to help his team. Just heartbreaking, Greg. Stockton's checked in for Hardaway. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Here's Jordan, and Jordan slams it home. Oh, my goodness. The, the creativity, the athleticism of Michael Jordan. White, wide open. He fires, and the three ball is good. White's got five now. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is cooking. Stockton, no good. And, you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that play. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Some changes for the 70s team. Irving comes in for Barry, and it's Frazier in for White. Frazier dishes to Irving. Kicks to Hayes. Here's Maravich. Cams the shot from the wing. Maravich has got four this quarter. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shots now starting to fall. Michael Jordan on the wing. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Maravich kicks to Irving. Out to the wing. Frazier against Stockton. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. And how about the reach of O'Neal there? A huge target for his teammates on these alley-oops. Here is Frazier following the basket by Shaquille O'Neal. And here's Maravich from the arc. And it's Morning with the rebound. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Shaq with the bucket. And O'Neal, just a brute on the block, simply overpowers the opposition. Jordan against Maravich. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Alonzo Morning. And yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. 
And the first one at the line is good. And Maravich, the skill set, how savvy he is, and then the showmanship that he brings to the table. I, I don't know that we've ever had a guy more creative at the game of basketball. Now here's Tuck. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Jordan against Havlicek. Shot clock at six. Jordan's shot is off. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. And he makes the first. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. Drexler, he's checked in for Jordan. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. And he's going up for the alley-oop, and it's Robinson with the jam. And this is Stockton's bread and butter, slicing the defense apart with his passing. A pick-and-roll master. Now Maravich, and stolen by Stockton. Robinson for three, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The 90s team leads by 17. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the four. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Warning is out there with Hill. Then it's Stockton. Then there's Drexler. And it's Robinson. And at the center, filling out the middle. Hill passes to Stockton. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Irving. That shot off. Morning with some nice D. Hill inside. Frazier covering. Robinson passes to Morning. Grant Hill on the wing. Stockton against Irving. To the middle. Five on the clock. For three, Hill. That one misses. And it's the 70s team the other way. Drexler against Havlicek. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Excellent D from Drexler. Time now for an injury report. He told me it's a sprained elbow. Now they put some ice on it, and they're hoping that he doesn't have any inflammation. They're holding him out for the rest of the game, and although they don't think he'll be out long, they haven't ruled out the chance that he could miss additional games as well. Kevin, back to you. Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, when, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. There's no question, because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. For three, some solid defensive work there from Havlicek. Irving with it. He's picked up by Hill. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And the 90s team making a change here. Peyton's checked in. And the 70s team making a change here. And guys, it's crazy. He really was a late bloomer. You know, Irving didn't have the big-time amateur career you hear about with some stars. But boy, he's more than made up for it. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Here's Robinson. Abdul-Jabbar with the block. Yeah, and beyond the obvious physical skills, Kareem just has a great understanding for the game. Times his move perfectly to get that shot. And the rejection by Abdul-Jabbar. 
moving against Hill. And Morning sends it back. And that's his signature, Morning, a fantastic defender. Phenomenal at using those long arms to reject shots. Hill dishes to Morning. Clyde Drexler on the wing, covered by Applejack. He had a nice open look right there. And the 90s team leads by 17. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. And Greg, you know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Peyton against Frazier. Teardrop shot. Basket good. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. It's tipped. But they get it back. Peyton finds Robinson. Over Abdul-Jabbar. Knocked away. D2 from Hill. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. Abdul-Jabbar passes to Havlicek. Back to Abdul-Jabbar. Goes back up. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem with the strength to finish through contact as well as anybody who's ever played. Here's Peyton. The feed to Drexler. And it's good for two. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. Here's Maravich. The baseline jumper goes down. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Malone with it. He's against McAdoo. And a wide open look for Jordan. Hands it from downtown. And the 90s team leads by 15. Here's Barron. So we see the 90s team get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.